Welcome to C-U-B-N. Welcome to C-U-B-N. And today I'm with Kalia. And today I'm with Alana. Because we're both sisters. <laughs> and so today so, we're going to be both. So Kalia, how was your day today? Oh, it was good. How was your day today? What did you do today? Oh, I learned some math, science, and reading. Yeah. What did you do today? What um, did you do today? I went to school and I learned a lot of stuff. So now. We are both from CUBN Live, and we're both from Bible Stories, uh, Bible Story Hour. So today, we're going to be both reading Bible Story Hours, but it's the sisters, I mean, both sisters, Bible Story Hour. So today, Alana's going to be reading first, and what's your title called? Ah, uh, two. Ah, uh, two, yeah. So what is your genesis? Bless you. So what is your genius? Genesis. Today I'm going to be reading a two. God bless you. Genesis 48 48 48 what? 48 verses 13 38 verses 13 6 20 Six. No. Verses 26. Verses 26. Through. Through 26. People always say, God bless you. God bless you. When someone sneezes. So now let's get started with the Lord's book called Ah Choo. God bless you. Well, here is a story about blessings, blessings, and not, not and too not much much. at all about sneezing. So, where, 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 we, where are we? So where were we? So where were we? Oh yeah, back in Egypt, Egypt. Egypt. Oh yeah, back in Egypt. At last, the seven long years of fam famine, famine, famine are over. Word. We're over. The rain started to fall. Wow, that's a really explanation did about you, Ah Chu, God it's, bless you. Did you know this is short? I know. That's a really explanation about Ah Chu, God bless you. Right, Alana? It's not Ah Chu, God bless you. Ah Chu. What about Ah Chu? Oh, yeah. You should respect the others when they say Ah Chu. And you should say, God bless you. Alana, you're back. Let's and Jacob two. and his family settled into their new home in the, in the land of Goshen. Goshen. And God blessed them. Their crops grew and bountifully and their families grew a bounty too they they because became became rich in every way wow they became rich 
that uh, you know that's you know, that's the page that you're gonna be on. No, not that, not that one. This one. Sorry guys, I just dropped the Jake, microphone. Jake, don't say that in the show, Khalil. Did you say that? Jacob lived 17 years in the land of Goshen. Goshen. Until he... Khalil can't do that in the show. Gosh, until he was 147 years old. What things happen when they're old? That's wait, what? What things? And what happens when things get old? Yeah, please comment down below when things get old, please. We'll that'll be very, very respect, respectful for you guys. They started. They start to wear out. That's what. That's what. That's what. And that. That's what happens to Jacob. His eyes were There's gone. more stuff why things get old. Uh huh. Make sure you please comment down below when is, more stuff when is they get old. eyes. His eyes were going bad. His legs were getting weak until finally he didn't have. Even have the strength to get out of bed. Wow, please comment down below that too. His eyes were going bad, his legs were weak. I mean, that's who, that's Jacob. His legs were going weak, and he got a lot of strength out, and he can't even go out of bed, got out of bed. So please comment down below that too. Jacob! Jacob knew his time on earth was almost over. And so, so he sent for him, his son, Joff, Josh, Joseph. Joseph. Soon. As soon as. Joseph heard that his father his father that his father called him for him. He left his home and traveled to the land of caution. When he entered his father's tent, Jacob said, just is that you? Is that you? Just Joseph. Joseph, is that you? Joseph, is that you? Yes, Father. Comes, yes, come Father. here by yes, my yes, bed. Father, Joseph, so. Yes, Father, Joseph said. Come here by my bed. I want you to make a solemn problems what promise to me promise me that that when i die you won't bury bury me here Bring me here in Egypt. Promise me that you will bring 
me in the land of my of my fathers. Jacob Jacob wanted it I mean wanted to make sure to make sure he was 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 what buried buried in the land of God at the land that God had promised his family. I promised Jacob, Joseph said, I promise, Joseph said. So Jacob made Joseph, made Joseph, Joseph make Make a Solomon vow. Vow. Joseph's Joseph promised that Jacob would be buried in the land of I mean land. The land he says for his father's is sick, is sick, and is sick. Father Abraham. So please comment down below. Is that too? Time went by and. Time went by and Jacob was getting weaker and weaker. One day, and a message came to Joseph that Joseph that his father was sick and closed the drying so. To drop, close, cl sick, and close to dry. So he, so he took his two sons, Mace. Mason. Mason and his younger brother, and Prim. And traveled to see his father once again. Jacob, Jacob was laying in his lying. tent, lying in his tent with his eyes closed. His, his body, his body was tired and. Worn out from a long, long life. But when he heard Joseph and his son sons coming here, use use all his strength to. Pull himself up in his bed. Joseph, Joseph, is that you? Yes, Father. Come closer, Jacob, said, holding out his bed. Bent and bony hands. When I was younger, when I was younger, the Lord God, Megali, Aper, 
appeared, appeared to me at was his this was in the lands of can stop I know the words Canada Canyon and the Lord blessed me there the Lord said to me I will give you many children and there will be many children and they will have many children and from the that them will come many attends attends I will give this land this land to them and it will be their land forever. I know the words. And then Jacob said in his troubling old voice, Joseph, your two sons who were born to your to you in the land of Egypt. From now on, I will call them many so my sons. They will be my sons just as Robert, Robin and S Ruben and Simon. Simon. And Simon are my sons. And they will share what in my hurtance just that as they will. And that's why. And wow. manage yes. will each story will become on one of the twelve prints of Israel. Israel. But but we will get to that later. Stop. This one's your last page. This one. Because I love you, Mother Rachel, so much. That is really sweet. She died in the land of Canna. Canada. Canna. Canna. She died in the land of Canada. Julie, I'm going to tell him. Sorry. He touched that again. And I buried her there beside the road to going to Inifrath, Inifrath, the little town that became known as Beth Bethlehem Bethlehem B 
Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Stop. That, that little town is going to be, became to going to become very familiar one day famous one day you might have even hard have even heard from it now Jacob could barely barely see the shapes of two boys standing there Joseph Joseph Jacob said Joseph and Jacob said posting to the two shapes how How are these boys? They are my sons. Joseph said, The sons God has blessed me. With their, with their hair here in the land of Egypt. Then Jacob said, bring them here so that I may bless them. Joseph brought his sons there to their great father, grandfather, to their grandfather. And Jacob wrapped his arms around them and hugged them as hard as he could. His eyes filled with tears, eyes filled with tears. Joseph, many, Joseph, Many, many years ago, your brothers told me that you had been killed by a wild animal. I thought that I would never see you again. And now here, here you are. God has truly, truly blessed me. And now God has blessed me even more and has left me, let me see your children. You said, Joseph bowed to the ground before his father and then he heard his town son, two sons, Neil, Neil and the foot 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 of Jacob's bed 
So Jacob would bless them. Thank you for reading my story. Next is Kalia. So today Your we're going to be reading Blessing. And now, now, in the time of Jacob, a father's blessing was a special, important thing. When a father blesses his children, bless his children, he was saying, God is with us. He was saying, we are family that lives under God's care of protection. He knew that all the good things they had were blessings from God. And so the he mean and so he tried his best to keep his family following God's way. And I mean God's way. He knew that if you try going your own way and walk away from God you would walk away from God's blessings too. And the wonderful thing is that God wants to bless us. Is just who God is. All of life is blessing from God. It is really true. There, there that breath, there, that breath you just took. You did take a breath. Did you that did you that breath was a blessing from God? All you have to do is look around at the good things God has made for us to see that all that is true. So what I want to say about this is it's really true. And what? You can really do stuff oh, like that. Can you stay on for when I when I stay on for you? Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Now let's watch. Now let's read chapter two. I'm already done. Blessings book. Well, just think of it. God could could have given us crackers and water to eat and call it good but no god but no god god gives us bananas and grapes and figs and pineapples carrots broccoli spinach chocolate and ice cream and cookies and a million of other good things to eat god could have god could have made a flower or two, maybe a dandelion, and a skunk cabbage, and called it a good, and call it good, but no, God made roses and daffodils, daffodils, and shooting stars, and cumble, columbine, and a thousand different kinds of flowers, and he he scatters them everywhere. God put God could have put few stars in the sky, and it called it good. That would be nice, but no. God put billions and billions of stars in the sky for us. That's how much God wants to bless us. So sometimes just go outside and look at all this all that God had made for us. The trees and flowers, the big puffy clouds in the sky, and the sun that comes up every morning to warm us and give us light. <laughs> when you see all those good things, God given us be happy. That's why God had made has made them all for you. God blessings God, are God's love. And you know and you know that what you know 
and you know what? You are a blessing from God. You are a blessing from God. You are a blessing even more amazing than the stars in the sky. It's true. Star, the, the stars are cool, and all but and all but they show God's love the way you can. God, God's love the way you can. They make awesome. They no, they make someone smile like you can. Can they do nice thing for someone who needs help like you can? Nope. God is so good. We were, we were we. Where were we? Oh yeah. So the father gave his children his blessing. He was putting them under God's care, like putting them under a blanket of God's protection. He knew that if they were, if they, if they live, if they live the way God wants them to live, I mean, live the way God wants them to live. If they walk in His this way, His ways. God will bring them goodness and joy, and rich and happy life. Not that they will never have any troubles. Troubles are a part of life too, but when hard sometimes hard times come, God will be think God will be with them and see them through. One day, one of the writers from the Peace Malls, the Palm Smalls, Peace Malls, will say, "Even when I, even when I walk through the dark and scary place, I will not be afraid. I know that God's with me." Well, I just at the troubles God brought Jacob and Joseph there. That was P. Small 23. But it won't be right. It but it won't be written for quite a few years yet. Well, quite for a few years after the time of Jacob and his family. That is now in those. Now in those days, when his father died, everything he owned was dive, dived among his children. But the oldest son is, received twice as much as the others. That was calling the bright right. I mean the birthright. When the father died, the oldest son became the head of the family. It it was his job to keep the family living under God's care and protection. So so Joseph and put Mason Mason Mense, at Jacob at Jacob's right hand to receive the blessing of the oldest son in Ephraim at his left hand. <clears throat> but Jacob crossed his hands and put his right hand on Ephraim, even thought he was younger. He was the younger son, son, and his left hand on Mense, Mense. And then Jacob blessed them, and said, "May God bless these boys, just as God blessed my father Isaac." 
Isaac, Isaac, and his father Ab Abram, Abram, Abraham, Abraham. May God who's, may God who has bought, brought me here to this very day bless them. May they, may they do watch over me in times of tr of trouble. Bless them. So what I have is two more pages. So let's get our fourth part with our story today. <clears throat> and off we go. May my name be remembered in them just like we remembered my father Isaac. Isaac. And we remember his father Abraham. May they have many may they have many children. May have their children have many children. Children have many children. And may their children may I mean have many children. May they become a great nation. That's true. But Joseph was was upset when he saw Jacob had put his right hand on Abraham, the youngest son. No, not no, not that's the way, Father Joseph said. You put your right hand on Abraham. But Mason is Mansa is the oldest. Put your right hand on him. But Jacob said, I know. But Jacob said, I know my son. I know a great nation will come from Manson, Man, Mansa, but a greater one will come okay, yeah. for. But now, let's get back with our story. But, but Jacob said, I know my son. I know the great nation will come from Mensa. But a greater one will come from Abram. Abraham. 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 No, it starts with the E. What does it say? Ephraim. Oh, e Ephraim. Ephraim. Yeah, Ephraim. If... If you remember Jacob, receive. Mm, it's like blessing. It's like that blessing. It's like blessing. It's like blessing instead. But Isu, Isu, even that Isu, Isu was the oldest too. Well, just watch, and you will see. That God seems to like to do the surprising thing. He puts his little brother above the big brother. He picks the smallest and and weakest to become the strongest. The ones who are the last, God puts first. Puts first. And one day a tiny baby will be born and stable in a little in a little nowhere town. And he will save the world. So Jacob blessed Abram and Mensah Mense, and said, one day you, our people will say, may the Lord bless you like Abram and Mensah. And they said to Joseph, I am ready to die, but God is with you. God will take you back of the land of my father Isaac and his father Abraham. Abraham. And so Jacob blessed Joseph and his son that day. Remember. All good things like ice cream, sun, ice cream Sundays, and sunny days, and even your brothers and sister, sisters are blessing from God. Ice cream Sundays and sunny days 
and lifelong and lifelong light and long life are wonderful things but the but the best things are the best things the best thing is that they are gifts from God that's really there where the happens comes the hap where the happens come from they let us know that God is with us and that God loves us someday melt storm come and life comes to an end an end but God love never ends God's love never ends live live and every live each every day with God live each day in God blessings live each live each day in God's love so here's a blessing so here's a blessing for you so that was so that was blessings and Alana read a chew, but now she's gone right now. So please comment down below about Alana's story. And please comment down, comment down below about my story. And please subscribe first. That's the main number one rule. Please subscribe and write something nice and comment down below. And write something nice for comment down below. And remember, always share this video on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. So we'll see you guys next week. Toodles.